everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today is day 14 of the summer craft challenge and today we are talking about the color orange so i have pulled out a bunch of papers from my stash these papers are from both new and older collections you will see as i kind of go through them i have many varieties and tones of orange <laughs> and I thought this was actually going to be a lot harder for me but it turns out I have more orange in my stash than I thought and I think you will probably um, be the same way. So as you can see I have many different types of uh, patterns here from many different types <laughs> of collections. We have some from as I'm trying to think that there's a One Canoe 2, there is a Pink Fresh Studio, there is, um, I believe I even have some Close to My Heart in there. We have that beautiful heart pattern from Vicki Booten's collection, uh, a couple patterns from, um, from Vicki's collection. The one that I will believe I end up using, you know, I can't remember. I don't have the I don't have the project in front of me. Uh, I can't remember what page I use for the background. I might end up being that Vicki Booten um, with the clouds. Uh, yep, now I think I do remember. Yep, because I really thought that the, obviously the blue and the orange complement each other so well. They um, are across from each other on the color wheel, and so that's really how um, it helps me when I am looking for colors and and what to draw attention to something or what to what colors to use to distract um, you turn to that color wheel because <laughs> because that helps so what you can't see off to the side is I have a sketch that I just kind of messed around with of my it's my own um, and it was a way to get a lot of pattern paper on the layout but not in giant chunks. So um, you will see that there's lots of paper there, but they're not, um, they're in varying sizes and um, degrees of boldness. <laughs> so the photo I'm going to be using is of my daughter and my um, friend's son, who they live next door to us. They're our neighbors. And they were, um, the kids were jumping on the trampoline. And so this was a picture that my neighbor Ruth took and sent me on my phone. And, sh and she just said, this is making my heart so happy. And I just, I loved it. It was so cute. Um, so I thought because they were neighborhood kids, then that this beautiful, um, paper from, I believe it, that is We Are Memory Keepers, I believe so, uh, the house, um, paper. I'm sorry, no, Webster's Pages. What am I talking about? It's Webster's Pages. And then I thought, well, that's perfect because it's a neighborhood and that looks like, you know, it could be our neighborhood. Plus it was also a nice, uh, pop of white because there is a lot of color there and um, not much place to really rest your eyes. So as I always do, I am, sorry about that, I am inking all the edges and because I wanted this paper to spread a little bit farther out, I uh, just cut it down the middle. And I believe if I remember correctly, I'm doing this voiceover um, a few, actually like a week after I created the layout. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm going to fiddle with those papers, yeah, to get them lined up right. I wanted to make sure that I love that paper of Vicki Booten's, that, um, those hearts. So I wanted to make sure that how they were going to line up against the strip there that I'm playing with right now from One Canoe 2, that they were going to line up right and the lines were going to be staggered and still allow for um, my photo and a, I believe I put a small mat around it. So. 
I'm going to monkey around with this for just a little bit. And I kept it in because it's, I mean, it's, it's not that long. And I think, it, again, it just shows you how easy it is to, um, to pivot <laughs> when you need to, to, to fix something. And as I said, you know, it doesn't, um, it's not that big of a deal. And I know I say this in every video, but I cannot tell you how much I am enjoying this new adhesive, uh, which I guess it's not new for me anymore, but um, it, because it, I would not have been able to pull that, um, those layers up had I been using my, my Tombow. And, and don't get me wrong, I still love my Tombow. I will not stop using it, but for, I, I've been using it more for um, really adhering like backgrounds together because um, I just, it's just so strong. And there's just, um, at least where I live here in Michigan, there's not a lot of forgiveness with, um, with it right away. So I'm trying to decide that navy is throwing me off um, that navy triangle in that one canoe two uh, triangular paper. And so I'm trying to get it to where I really see more of the orange and less of the blue. And eventually you will see that I um, succumb to <laughs> the, the paper and just let it be what it is. And yep, you see a little pop of the blue, but I'm okay. You get the dark color. Um, that's a dark gray that's in the background. And so I kind of just chalked it off as it's a visual triangle. You've got the two darker little uh, parts on the side there from that gray and then the darker pop of blue. So I've, I've moved on. <laughs> just crinkling up the edges so that it's not so flat because right now, while there is a lot of it, um, what I have on my page is all paper. And uh, that paper is a really cool orange. Um, it's a doodle bug, but I believe I end up going with this darker one. And again, it's just drawing more, uh, more attention to that photo. It's hard not to see that photo because it, it is very dark. It's, um, you know, the kids are in you know, black pants sitting on a black trampoline <laughs> and, uh, and just, you know, sharing secrets. So off camera, I went through my stash of embellishments and pulled out things that were orange or orangish to work onto the layout, pulled some banners and some journal spots. Some things are going to make it and some things are not, and that's okay. Whatever doesn't make it will just end up back in, in my stash. This little um, die cut, I'm gonna try to see if I can remember what it says. Um, oh gosh, I cannot read it, I'm so sorry. Something about being awesome. Like time spent together or something like that is awesome. And so that's really gonna be my title for the the page. And I love the, the way that the die cut kind of, it, the, <laughs> let me see, let me try get my words in order. I love how it's cut because it frames my daughter's leg. And so it kind of, you know, cradles and, and folds around. So it, it really looks like it's all, all together. So as you can see, I'm pulling some florals, all different kinds. We've got some Chamel, those orange blossoms. We've got some that I, I believe are from A Simple Stories. We've got the, the butterflies that are the monarch with that orange and black. Had to put this little owl on here. He has been in my stash for a while and I thought he was perfect. And so I just go around and I'm adding little bits. That down there is going to end up being my journaling spot. And I will say doing these little challenges throughout this month has really helped me um, look at my supplies in a much different way. I have not had to go out and purchase, I mean, 
I have, but I haven't had to, <laughs> go out and purchase supplies to do these challenges. And so I just encourage you to, you know, see what, whether it's, you know, my little challenge or whether it's other ones that are out there through, you know, manufacturers or through kit clubs or, or whatever. This is a great way to reintroduce yourself to your stash because, um, as I said before, I never would have thought I had enough orange to do an actual layout that focused on, on that color, but, but I did. This little stamp, I'm bummed that I wasn't able to get it on there. It said friendship and it was orange and it would have been perfect, but I just couldn't make it work. But I'm just going around adding all these little pops and I'm actually coming to the end of the layout and I will add this little flower and I believe through the magic of editing you will see my journaling on there and I just want to thank you guys for stopping in and checking out this video and stay tuned for day 15 tomorrow. Bye-bye.